Jesus, we exalt you and magnify you. We raise you up high above every other name. None compares to you, God. There is nobody before you. There is none behind you. There is no one that can be beside you. You are greater, God. You are mightier. I raise my worship to you, O oh God, because you are who you are. When I call on Abba, Father, you are my Father. When I call upon Jaira, there you are, God. When I need a healer, you are there, King of glory. When I need peace, you're my shalom. When I need a mighty warrior, there you are, my banner. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness. You never leave us alone. You're always there when we call on you. When we need a friend, you stick closer than a brother. When we need a father, you call me your child, O oh God. You call us your children, O oh Lord. You are glorious in all your ways, God. Excellence is one of your garments, Jesus. Your glory fills the temple, God. Your power runs the universe. You reign and rule in love, Lord. You are glorious, Jesus. None confers to you, Abba Father. The universe cries out to you, Lord, because they know you have a solution. You promise in your word, O oh God, that when we call on you, you will answer us, O oh God. When we draw near to you, you will draw near to us, mighty Jesus. We need to draw nearer to you, God. Through the precious blood that you shed on the cross, mark it today. Through the mighty power of your love in the name of Jesus. Through your mercy and unconditional love, O oh God. Through your grace that is always sufficient, King of glory, we draw near to you by the call of your voice that come, come how you are, come however you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter where you are in your life today. Just come and I will embrace you. Come and I will heal you. Come and I will help you. Come and I will renew you. Come and I will clothe you anew. Come and I will be your God and you will be my people. Come and I will choose you. Come and I will elect you. Father, we draw near to you this day, O oh God. We will not let our troubles lag us behind from this opportunity. We will not let our friends' voices lag us behind from this opportunity. We will not let our worries lag us behind, O oh God. We will choose you in every way, Jesus. We choose you today. We choose you today, now and forever. The world doesn't satisfy, Lord. Our families don't satisfy, King of glory. For even when we have them, we still have an emptiness in our lives that only you can feel. For even when they say they love us, oh God, we still desire for more love. Only you can satisfy, mighty God. Spirit of the living God that provides counsel. There are men and women that need counsel right now. I pray that you reach out to each one for you are not bound by location you're not bound by boundaries set by man you're not bound by mindsets you're not bound by the worries that we carry in our minds you're not bound by our thoughts and what we think spirit of the living god move to every part of this world go out to every man and woman that desires to be counseled that desires help they are caught up in a place where they need somebody to talk to spirit of the living god I send you there right now. Visit them at the crossroads where they are. There is a wide junction right there in front of them. They don't know which way to go. They're calling on for help. The help the world offers is temporary. But your help, Spirit of God, Jesus left you for us to be our helper. I send you to help every man and woman, young and old, in any way they are stuck and deciding. They're making important decisions in their life, decisions about work, decisions about marriage, decisions about school, education, where to invest. Spirit of God, help them, counsel them. Help them make the best decision that they can ever make. I stand here for any young person that is desiring for counsel in a career path. 
They don't know after studying, after every indication they have, after trying out so many jobs, they're wondering which one it is that they want to go for. Spirit of God, I pray that you make them, help them to choose. Let them sow where they will reap. Let them invest where they are going to profit. In every way, their knowledge, their emotions, the works of their hands. For God, you promised to bless them. And I know your promises are here and amen. I am a testimony and that is why I can pray for them. You have helped me to choose better all the time. You have helped me to decide better all the time. And Father, I trust that you're able to help them too through your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God, for your always following our prayers on us. Spirit of the Spirit of the living God, we call on you this day. Oh, the Spirit of God that renews us and strengthens us and makes us whole again. Touch every part of our bodies, Lord, start with our mind. King of glory, conform our mind to yours, O oh God. Let the words that come out of our mouths be words that are building rather than destroying in the name of Jesus. Help us to speak life to each other in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to speak life into our relationships in the name of Jesus. Help us to speak provision into our lives. Help us to speak growth and prosperity into our businesses. I ask you right now to open up your mouth and call on the spirit of the living God to mend every broken piece, to put together everything that had been scattered in your life right now in the name of Jesus. There is a spirit of rebuilding right now. There is a spirit of reconstruction right now. There is a spirit that you need to call and that will renew you. That is the mighty spirit of the living God, that your feelings may be conformed to what the spirit of God wants you to feel, my tire, that you may know and know that he is God in whatever it is that has been scattered, in whatever it is that has been made broken by the enemy. I call on you right now to open up your mouth and call the Spirit of the Living God. He is able. He is right there with you. Just call on the Spirit of the Living God to help you twist those words to be life into you. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of God is here with us. The Spirit of God is here with us. The Spirit of God is here with us. Open up your heart and receive the Spirit of the living God. It is falling on us. The Spirit of holiness and righteousness. The Spirit of love, peace and joy. The Spirit of contentment. The Spirit of newness. The Spirit of holiness. The Spirit of wholeness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we want to ask you to make us whole again. Make us whole again, God, wherever the devil and the enemy and sin and disease had patched us with unholiness. Father, we pray that you make us holy. We pray that you make us holy, O oh God. For without holiness, your presence cannot be. For without holiness, we cannot experience your true love. We cannot experience your true presence when we are not holy. We want to be holy and righteous, and that's what we desire. Only the Spirit of God that convicts us of sin and evil can speak to us right now to examine our hearts and our lives. Just like David asked, examine me, O oh God, and show me. Father, this evening, morning and afternoon, wherever we are, we desire, God, that you make us whole again. That you give us a holiness that we cannot do with our own hands. That our parents and our families could never give us. Our friends could never give us. You only by your precious blood can give us. Hallelujah. Holiness. Holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I Is what you want from me? Oh, tell him that you want to be holy. Holiness, holiness is what we long for. Holiness is what we need. Yeah. Oh, oh, holiness. Holiness is what he wants from us, yeah. Let's say that again. He wants us to be holy. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. God, we want to be holy. Holiness, yeah. Holiness is what you want from me. Take my heart and fall. 
that plan that you have for my life. I wanna walk like you go. I wanna speak like you God. I wanna touch lives like you do, Jesus. Conform my will to yours. Transform my heart to yours, oh God. Transform me, O oh Lord, in the ways that you want me to be. Transform how I relate, oh God. Transform how I work, oh Jesus. Transform my desires, oh God. Align them in your will for my life, Lord. Align them in your blueprint for my life, Jesus. Break my heart for what breaks yours, oh God. Break my heart for what breaks yours, Jesus. I don't want to delight in my foolishness. I don't want to delight in my unrighteousness. I don't want to delight in my sinful ways, oh God. Break me, Spirit of the living God. Break me for the brokenness that is in the world, oh God. For the evil that's in the world, break me, oh God. The unconsciousness of your presence, break me, oh God. For delight in evil, break me, oh God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Break us, oh God, break us, oh God, break us, oh God. Let us delight in what you delight in, oh God. Give us strength for what gives you strength, Jesus. Give us power for what gives you power, oh God. Help us to serve you rightly, my Lord. Take our every iniquity there is within our hearts, my God. Let us not take your blood for granted by continuing to sin. Just like Paul asked you foolish Galatians who bewitched you, will you continue to sin and the mercy and grace of God shall be abandoned? No. Father, we break, we break, we break. Break us so I break yours, mark it, and I demand it, and I demand it, and I demand it, I stand in the gap on behalf of my land, oh God. On behalf of the nations, my Lord, I plead for forgiveness, O oh God. Forgive us for not recognizing that you are the God that we are supposed to serve. We have replaced your presence with so many other idols. We have not served you the way you commanded us to us serve you, O oh God. We have slidden away from your laws, O oh God. We have not followed your commands and we expect everything to be okay. We that know you have lived life like we do not know you in this world. We have conformed to the ways of men. We have sat down on tables of those that are scornful. We have sat down and spoken ill about you among us, those that don't know you, O oh God. We have denied your presence in our lives, my God. We have not acknowledged your presence in our lives, Jesus. We have lived life like we do not know that you are there. Yet we are aware, my Lord. Let us not be like the Pharisees, oh God, who lived in denial of the truth of the power of God. We keep calling on you to manifest yourself, yet even the little things like life are your manifestation, oh God. But we deny ourselves of that truth and keep demanding for more manifestation. Father, forgive us. Forgive our leaders. Forgive the children, the women, the men, the married, the singles, every person, oh God. Forgive us for being unconscious of your presence, Lord. Forgive us for ignoring the truth of your word. Forgive us for not understanding that your power is more powerful than any other power. Forgive us for living in our own efforts. For complaining that you haven't done. Yes, we are not grateful for what you have done so far. God, I break and I repent this day. That you may forgive us, oh God. That you may create in us clean hearts like you did for David, my Lord. 
He's saying, you well, even if our sins are dark as scarlet, you shall wash them and they'll be as white as snow. Father, I lift up every person on earth, in this world, my God, whichever corner they're in. Even if their sin is as dark as scarlet right now, you are cleansing them in the name of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb, that blood which will never lose its power, that blood which is red but never leaves a, a spot or wrinkle on anybody where it passes, that blood that is everlasting, that blood that was shed for us innocently, that blood that is powerful. Hmm. That blood that washed me, that blood that has sustained me after today, that blood that has given me everything that I have, that blood that was shed a cover, that blood of Jesus that is shed on that old dragon cross, that blood that is healing you right now can also take away that sin. That blood that had mercy on you can cause you to have mercy on another person. That blood that That forgave you can cause you to forgive somebody else, my brother, my sister. The thief is coming in the night. You will never know the day or the hour. But he's coming. Take on the blood of Jesus and be made whole. Take on the blood of Jesus and be sanctified right now. Take on the blood of Jesus and get a new garment in the name of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus, we need you. The whole earth needs you. The whole earth needs you. Everything needs you right now. The confusion in this world needs the blood of Jesus. Every hatred in this world needs the blood of Jesus. Every bitter heart needs the blood of Jesus. Every confused mind needs the blood of Jesus. Every sick body needs the blood of Jesus. Wherever you are laying right now in the hospital or at your home and you're sick in your body, call on the blood of Jesus. It is the healing blood. It will never lose its power. Thousands of years ago, it was shed just for a day like this. For a person such as you, I tell you, doesn't matter how big that disease is, how long you have had it for, get sick and tired of being sick and ill. Dedicate it right now and lift it up and say, Jesus, I am tired. I am also lifting up my bed right now and I am standing up. I'm believing on your healing, believing on the power that's in the precious blood of Jesus for healing right now. Right now. She touched the hem of his garment. She had faith. And she was tired of bleeding for 12 years. What are you tired of this day? What is that sickness that has become a problem to you? No one can find a solution. What is that problem that has spent years upon your life? That stagnation in your growth, in your business, in your success. Get off that bed right now and walk in the name of Jesus. Take upon the power of the blood of Jesus and speak life into your body. Speak life into your family. Speak life into your children. Speak life into your business. Speak life into your own mind if it's the one that is causing you that problem. Speak. God spoke that let it be and it was. The same power that he used lives in you, my sister, my brother. The same word he spoke is the word he gave you through his word. And you have the ultimate word, which is Jesus. He is the word. He is the bread of life. Eat on him this day and speak him. He will work for you. When we get sanctified and cleansed by the blood of Jesus, he leaves nothing behind. He sweeps over your soul and gives you peace. A peace that surpasses all human understanding. A peace that no man can give. He sweeps over your soul and gives you a new mind. You forget all your pain and delight in the current moment of joy. 
Jesus is not in the business of casting us away from his presence. No. He came to seek and save that which was lost. Believe on him this day. His presence only needs to be activated by you. Get tired and surrender. You can't do it on your own, honey. No, you can't. You can't. I am a testimony of surrender. I am a testimony of trust. I am a continuous testimony of obedience. My heart goes out to you today. And I'm saying this prayer for you. And I'm worshiping and singing over your soul, over your body, over your children, over your family. What is that? My God is able. He's more than able. He'll do it. Or let me even say he's done it. He's done it. As I conclude, I just want to tell you to be grateful. Receive the healing of God. Receive the revival of God upon your life. Receive the cleansing of God upon your life. Upon your family. Just touch everything around you. Walk through your home, your office, wherever you're watching this from. And touch everything and bless it. Pray a blessing. Change everything. Pray a blessing. Pray a blessing. Speak life. Touch the door of your office, the door of your home. Everybody that steps into this office will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Step on your doormat and speak life. Touch the chairs where your guests sit and speak life. Go to your bedroom and touch your bed. Prophesy good dreams over it. The ventilators, the windows. Let there be fresh air coming through. And as it comes through, speak that the Spirit of God, the wind of God, may blow into your room. And may blow out every chaff in the name of Jesus. Speak to your eyes that they may be ventilators of goodness. Your ears that they may be objects of goodness. That your feet may bear good news. That your lips may speak life. You want to be like God, isn't it? And we'll strive every day to be like him. Lord, we want to be more like you. Jesus, oh, we want to be more like you. We want to be a vessel you walk through. Oh, I want to be more like you. Say it with me. Oh, I want to be more like you. Jesus, oh, I want to be more like you. I want to be a vessel you are through. God, I want to be more like you. Nane Yesu, 
of your heart be acceptable to him that made you that on that day when you're giving accountability lawyer what did you say anna what did you say grace what did you say peter what did you say john what did you say you will say god i said as you commanded me to say more like you more like you I want to be Lord more like you more like you more like you I want to be Lord more like you let's take it higher more like you
of the Lord. You shall walk in his command. Even if you fail, he will raise you up again in the name of Jesus. There shall be no fore against you in the name of Jesus. He is more than, more than, more than willing and able to serve you. Yeah. He promised to send his angels to serve you. God is committed to you. The commitment that God has is to save the world. But God's priority is you. It is me. Never forget that. God's commitment is to save the world. But his priority is you. So I love you. But I want to tell you God loves you more. He loves you. I'll keep praying for you. I'll keep thinking about you. Keep praying for yourself as well. Keep believing on the word of God. Keep giving. Keep loving. Keep obeying. Keep trusting. And keep surrendering. You're blessed. And my name is Lloyd. And I will keep praying for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen.